Hi, and welcome to the Assembly Lines Podcast. I'm Chris Torrance. Today we're going to take a look at the Soft SP card from Kabu HK. So let's get started. Back in episode 85, I did a video review of the W drive from Kaboo HK. The W drive is an SD card solution for the Apple II line of computers, which lets you emulate a floppy drive but using an SD card. It can handle all sorts of disk images, including DSK, DO, PO, as well as WAS images. And finally, it was also able to handle 32 megabyte 2MG files. But the problem that I ran into is on a 2 or 2 Plus or 2E, they don't have support for smart port like a 2C or a 2GS. Kabu tried to solve this problem by doing something called the Soft SP, which basically emulated the smart port firmware but in software. And they did this by putting some firmware up in the upper 64K of the computer. The problem with that is some programs actually make use of that memory. And so some games and programs would boot properly from a 32 megabyte image, whereas other programs such as Ultima 4 wouldn't run properly. So to solve this, Kabu has come out with this soft SP card. And what this card does is on an Apple II, II Plus, or IIe, you just put it into any slot and it will trick the computer into thinking it has smart port support. You can plug your W drive into a normal disk 2 card or into a 5.25 drive card like this with an adapter and it'll actually be able to boot up 32 megabyte images. The Soft SP card itself is actually really simple. It's about the smallest Apple II card that I've ever seen and it's just two chips. On the right here is just a simple programmable logic chip and this is just the glue logic that translates from the Apple II signals over to the rest of the board which consists of an AMD 4 megabyte PROM which contains the actual code that's doing the smart port emulation. Let's see what happens when we start the W drive without the soft SP card. When I turn on the computer, you can see it starts up Apple IIe, and then it says soft SP is booting, and then it goes ahead and boots. Now, the only reason this works is because the Kaboo HK folks have put a small program up into the upper 64K of memory, which mimics a smart port device. And so you can see here, it thinks that there's a drive in slot 5, drive 1, smart 0. But this is all being emulated through software and the problem is if I try to run something like say Ultima 4 and I go ahead and try and run it, nothing happens. And this is because Ultima 4 is a 128K game and there's a program in the upper 64K that is preventing it from loading the code. Now let's go ahead and we will install the soft SP card in slot 7. You can actually install it in any slot, but we'll just go ahead and use that one since that seems to be traditional for hard drives. Make sure when you're installing it that you look at the directions. So this says towards the keyboard and this says towards the rear. So be sure to orient it the correct way when you install it. So we'll go ahead and we'll put this into slot 7. And now we'll turn on the computer and it'll boot up. Okay, same thing. It says, and this time you see it actually didn't even say soft SP is loading, it just booted. And you can see here slot 7 drive 1 smart 0. So this is now acting like a real smart port device. So if we go down to say Ultima 4 and run it, now it actually starts up the game properly because it's not actually putting anything into that upper 64K of memory that games are relying on. The Soft SP card, since it emulates a smart port device, it actually works with any sort of smart port drive. So not just the W drive from Kabu. You can also use it with any sort of smart port hard drive, the floppy emu. You can even use it with a 3.5 inch Unidisc 2053 
although Kabu warns that if you try to do that, you need to use a special adapter because that Unidisc isn't compatible with the normal DB19 pins. So just be careful if you're going to use it with one of those Unidiscs. The soft SP card from Kabu HK definitely gets the job done. It's a little bit of a niche product because if you have something like a CFFA 3000, this will already effectively have smart port support built into it just by its very nature. So the soft SP card is really useful if you have say a floppy emu or a W drive or let's say an old hard drive and you want to hook it up to an Apple 2E or a 2 Plus. Then all you need to do is buy the soft SP card and it can emulate that smart port support. It's also cheap, it's only $19.90. So if you have a W drive or a floppy emu and you wanna add support for 32 meg hard drive images, then the Soft SP is definitely worth getting. Full disclosure, I did receive my Soft SP as a complimentary one for review. I also wasn't able to get the Soft SP to work with everything. For example, I tried running Nox Archaist with the Soft SP. It actually booted the game, but when it started, there were some graphics glitches. And I'm not quite sure whether this is because I was using an alpha build of Nox Archaist or whether the Soft SP card is still installing something in the upper 64K that's interfering with the game. I'm gonna have to talk to Kabu to find out if that's the case. I'll have links in the show notes to my earlier review of the W drive, as well as where you can purchase the Soft SP card. Once again, thanks for watching.